What up, it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels with Kona Oliveira, ranked number five in camo, three and zero. How you doing, Kona? You doing great. How are you? You're pretty young. You're only nineteen. How did you get in MMA? That's um, kind of like it's it's been in my family for a really long time. Um, my dad is Brazilian. My mom is also Brazilian. Um, my dad used to fight days in his hometown, like probably two of those, you know, like those where there was no glove. Like basically, there was basically no rules, but no poking in the eyes, no pulling hair, no kicking in the groin, and that kind of stuff. And um, he came from a judo family, so like ever since he was little, it was, it was like if you he came home from school, like all they did was, was judo, you know, like so it, it, he came from a judo family, and then um. My mom's side of the family wasn't martial arts, but she was into like, you know, she used to do like those Iron Man's and stuff. And my dad moved to Hawaii to go surf and kind of met my mom. And my mom was there for an Iron Man and they met each other there. And next thing you know, they got married or they had me and then they got married. And then, yeah, ever since I was growing up, it was, I would surf, I'd go to school, come home. First. And the nighttime, I'd go to jiu-jitsu. My dad's a black belt on the house in Gracie. So it was, I'd go to jiu-jitsu, and I grew up. That was the, that was like the everyday thing for me. And then when I got around eight or nine, I started boxing at like a local boxing gym. And then just kind of started doing a bunch of smokers and just fell in love with it. And actually, I was a pro surfer. I still am a pro surfer. I um, used to travel competing all over the world, doing contests. When I was around, like, I, I, I thought about fighting when I, I mean, I've always thought about fighting, but, like, the circuit thing was going so good for me, and I had a bunch of sponsors and stuff, but it just what I, wasn't what I pictured it when I was little growing up, you know? It wasn't what I thought it was, you know? And so when I turned, like, 17, you know, I was, like, right on that, about that age where you can, you know, 18, you can start actually fighting MMA, and I was already... Uh, you know, wrestled through high. I did some wrestling in high school. Like I did two years of wrestling, um, and then I was just I was always training. With, um, and then I have this my MMA coach now, which his name is Juan Gomez. Um, some people know him by Brazilian Samurai on on uh, Instagram. Um, I was always really into like strength and conditioning. So like my strength and conditioning for my surfing was like working with him. You know, whether we were working wrestling, whether we were working um. On the pads, it was just I just had more fun doing that, and it kind of just took off from there. I just kind of abandoned the whole surfing competition side of, of things and said this is what I want to do, and started fighting, and I've been doing it. I'm now I'm three and zero, you know. Um, been doing it maybe a year now or so. It's going to be about almost a year, and yeah, I mean it's been one of the best decisions I've done. You know, I'm just really happy with where it's brought me and I know this is only just the beginning and I know there's a long, long road ahead of, you know what I mean? A lot of it's a, it's a uphill battle from here, you know, but um, I'm, I'm ready and uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to watch you fight again. Um, you're 3-0 and amateur. Are you going to continue in your amateur career or are you thinking of going pro? Um, this next fight, I mean, we sat down, after my last fight, I sat down with all my, 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 my dad, my manager, my coaches, and, um, we're, we're ready to go pro, um, so I'm excited about that, you know, it's another chapter in my career, um, I mean, after, the last guy I fought, uh, he was one of the top, I don't know exactly what he was ranked when I fought him, but he was, he was up there in the welterweight division, and, um, he was six and one, I believe. He was already the he was the real champ for that for the Spark Star show. He's the he's was the champ for the Spark Star show. And then they gave us this this new show which was the Gladiator at the Coliseum. And they gave us the main event over there which was I wasn't even expecting to fight him. I was supposed to fight on another Spark Star show and then the kid got hurt or whatever, the felt fight fell through. And I was in camp for like super long because it was like another month before this it was like I was like a three month camp you know what I mean it was like fight fell through and then what's gonna happen I'll stay in camp because you know towards the end of it I was already getting kind of like man am I gonna even fight you know like what's going on and then the fight happened and 
We knew he was. I didn't. That's why I didn't really get to showcase my striking. I kind of. Um, I don't know. The, the weight cut went well, but the whole thing was like it was the first time me going to 170. You know, um, I I made it really easy to wait, but to me it was the recovery part. I didn't get to recover that much because we. In California, the, the Camel Athletic Commission is the way in same day as you fight, you know. And I'm I'm a solid 170. I walked around 195 pounds out of camp, you know what I mean? So like for me, it was it wasn't a bad weight cut because once like, I, I I shed the weight pretty easy. Like I I weighed another weight, you know what I mean? Like I I didn't feel bad. I just kind of like fight night. I didn't have that like energy 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 that I had the other night. That's the time before, so I, I didn't really get the strike with him, and it would have been a really, it would have been a bar burning strike. And I kind of just, I showed another side of my game, which was people didn't really know, but that's what I started with was jujitsu and wrestling. And so I kind of just out wrestled him and out grappled him that whole fight. And it was more of a, it was more of a technical fight. But um, yeah, I would have, I would have liked the, the strike a little bit more during that fight for sure. Like if I could have took it away, I think. It was a dominant victory over a big opponent in in the camel rankings. You know what I mean? It was it was unanimous decision for me. I won the belt, and uh, yeah, it was after that we sat down and we're like, man, there's there's a few other guys that could fight amateur, but I'm not gonna say names. But we they didn't they didn't they didn't want to fight. So um, and they were the guys that were kind of you know in the rankings above the rankings a little bit. Currently. Even, uh, I only had three fights. I was already in the top five, having only three fights. Um, you know, all the other guys had a lot, had six or, you know, more than that, and I only had three. I was three no, but they put me in top five rankings and a couple other guys. I, I said, man, I, I, we sat down and we, we tried fighting the other guys before. They didn't want it. We knew they weren't going to want it after that last fight. So the next step was to go pro, and now it's just, I've been, I'm taking a little bit of time off, like, I'm not fighting right right now in the beginning of the year. I'm just kind of um, putting, you know, putting together a game, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm, I haven't stopped training since my last fight, you know? I went home for the holidays, but I was still training my coach. goes with me everywhere I go. My head coach, Juan Gomez, goes everywhere I go. He goes. He's actually from Hawaii, too. I bring him out here. We bring him out here. Um, so around my camps, he's my head coach. So we were working a lot in Hawaii. And um, yeah, so we were just, uh, uh, what's the word for it? We were um, working new techniques and getting more creative. You know, I, I feel like it's gonna, it's, I feel like every fight I, I get better and better. And I just, I feel, right now I'm feeling new. You know, I'm feeling refreshed. I feel like I got, I got to go home. I got to see, you know, my friends, my family. I haven't seen them for, eight months because I was out here living in California and I just feel new and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy right now. I'm just, I'm excited for what, what's to come right now this year, it's 2018. And it's looking like I want to, I want to be fighting the end of March, early April at the latest, you know, I want to be making my pro debut, but, um, I'm sure that in the next two to three weeks, I'm going to be finding out, um, who I'll be fighting, where I'll be fighting, and then um, I'll be posting all that up. I gotta sit down with my managers and coach and see what um, what show exactly, and you know, from there, fight. <laughs> where can the fans connect with you on social media? Yeah, I have um, I have my Facebook, which is Kona Oliveira, and then I have my Instagram, which I feel like most people use nowadays, which is Kona VLAN. That's like K O N A V L A N D. Just um yeah, kinda of post up everything on my social media. I got a lot of stuff with me. It's a little different, you know, it's not just training, training, training like a lot of these fighters because like I said before, I am a professional surfer, so I gotta do the marketing side of that as well. You know? Um so I went I went home to Hawaii now I got a lot of good waves. And, you know, I'm kinda of working the free the free surfing side of it and I'm actually right now I'm competing for the um the best wave this winter, you know what I mean? Thirty thousand dollars for the best ride this winter, and um, I'm one of the I'm the finalist for December. So each month they take five finalists. So right now I'm one of the finalists for that mid 
the finalists for December. And um, yeah, so I, I, I you know, I, I'm never, I'm always doing something. You know, if I'm not training, I'm surfing. If I'm not surfing, I'm training. And I'm always, if I'm not in the, you know, I'm, but I'm, I do them both all day. You know, it's, 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 I eat, breathe, and sleep. That's all I can think of. You're living the life. I'm jealous. <laughs> I appreciate your time, Kona. Anytime, man. This is Nick from MMA Pixels, Kona Oliveira.